Let's have a quick look at the Xenonauts 2 demo, which consists of a single tactical mission against both human and alien hostiles. For the uninitiated, Xenonauts is a reimagined XCOM UFO defense, a classic, much-loved 90s turn-based strategy. XCOM was a genre-defining game about hunting down UFOs and protecting the Earth. Xenonauts was essentially a fan-made clone 20 years later. The second Xenonauts is more of a modern portrayal of the story and not a true sequel of sorts. In short, you'll control a multinational organization charged with defending Earth against alien invasion, by any means necessary. You'll shoot down UFOs, investigate crash sites, capture, study and analyze aliens, develop technologies, build bases, manage supplies and improve your arsenal. It's all simple on the surface, but there really is a lot to do here. This time around, you'll play in the 1990s at the tail end of the Cold War instead of the 1970s, and you'll also notice a much improved 3D graphical experience using the Unity graphics engine. If you're looking for a Firaxis styled XCOM game, this isn't what you're going to find here. Expect a simplified graphical experience that focuses on deep strategic gameplay, and only that. No extra bells and whistles if that's your thing. Back are destructible multi-level environments, rotating camera angles, cool weapons and technology, the geoscape, base management, and great tactical turn-based strategy experience, among so much more. At first glance, the game features updated graphics, some great music and sound, new environments, gameplay elements, weaponry, and an updated user interface. I'm sure there's a ton more, but this was a one-mission demo after all. Also new to the game is a shot preview mode, a way of determining if repositioning will improve your chances of landing a hit on enemies. I didn't have much luck with it, but it does seem like it'd be really useful once it's fully fleshed out. A noticeable omission, or something I completely missed here, is the ability to reserve time units for Overwatch or taking shots after moving, something I relied heavily on in the first game. I also really wish there was the ability to zoom in and out to better evaluate a situation and not just raise or lower the level. It's minor, but something I'd love to see added. The official forums list new additions and improvements to most facets of gameplay, most notably orbital bombardment, improved base mechanics, new game lore and technology tiers, modular armor, vehicles, mission types, breachable UFOs, improved AI, and improved air combat. I'll link to the official forums in the description if anybody's interested. I really enjoyed the demo and played it through a few times over just to see everything on offer. So far, so good. I've been a huge XCOM and Xenonaut fan for years now and can't wait to dig into the finished product, hopefully even get a look at it prior to release. The game's delivery date has been pushed back for several years now, but right now looks to be unleashed in the first half of 2023, so we will certainly have to keep our fingers crossed and our eyes peeled. For anyone interested, I've left the last four minutes or so of condensed gameplay footage here for you to enjoy. I kind of trimmed down all the fat from about 35 minutes of gameplay and left only the action bits in here. Hopefully you enjoy it, and if you do, let us know in the comments. And if you don't, well, let us know in the comments. I'd really like to hear what everyone thinks of the game, Xenonauts in general, and what you think about it compared to the original XCOM games and whether or not you think it measures up. I know that when I started playing the game, I had really been craving a really good turn-based strategy like XCOM, and the first Xenonauts really scratched that itch for me at the time. So I've been looking forward to the second game now for at least a few years. If you were part of the, the Kickstarter or have had access to the betas, I'd really like to hear you know how you some feedback and uh, how you think it compares, or um, you know you think it's going to stack up really well against our fairly lofty expectations. For now, enjoy the rest of the video, and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. This is Chris at Talent Gaming, I'm signing out.